Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will talk about a feature called uh, browser add-ons and what they mean for you, what they, um, how they affect your computer. One of the um, probably major slowdown of your browser um, in Internet Explorer is what we call add-ons. Um, Internet Explorer is basically a program that lets you view web pages, but some web pages need special programs for you to run in order to see the content that's available there. So one of the um, ways to actually add features to your internet browser is to just put what we call an add-on which is a little program that runs inside Internet Explorer and that Explorer will use on different websites. The idea is not bad, but it has a real serious drawback. Um, actually, several serious drawbacks. One of them is that a poorly installed add-on can I mean a security threat to your computer. Um, a big or somewhat not optimized add-on can slow down your browser a lot and um, it can also add unwanted features to your browser so if Internet Explorer feels like it's not working optimum uh, it's slower than it used to be before uh, or it just works bizarre and you have these little pop-ups and you're, you're thinking what's happening. One of the culprits could be uh, what we call add-ons. So how do we view add-ons and how do we know what's good, what's not? Um, basically you'll need um, first to look at the list of the add-ons and probably um, one of the best ways to manage those is to Google them and look at what they are. So uh, first of all I'm going to go to your add-ons in your browser. So Go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen by swiping or by going to the corners. Click the search, just type add on and go into settings. And there you'll have on the list the um, manage browser add-ons. Now it's right here, manage browser add-ons if you don't see it. Uh, just go because add-on does bring a lot of uh, different options so you gotta find what's called manage browser add-ons if you wanna find it maybe a little quicker just go into uh, your search again and just type manage and go into settings so by doing manage you might find the uh, browser add-ons faster as you see here manage browser add-ons browser is another good um, key so if you put browser, you also have the first one here. It says manage browser add-ons. So you click on that. You can also click uh, Internet Explorer desktop version and go into your little pinwheel on the upper right. Go into Internet Options and uh, click on Programs. And there you'll see manage add-ons, enable or disable browser add-ons, install on your system, you'll click there and it's going to bring you that window where you'll see the different add-ons that your computer is actually uh, using and you have the name, the company, you have its status, enabled or disabled and you have its starting time or its loading time so it's a great way to see what takes time in loading. So if your Internet Explorer takes a lot of time to uh, start up, look for add-ons that take a lot of time to start up and you'll have information from a lot of those add-ons there. If you don't know what it's, what a add-on is, uh, what you could do is look at it and say, okay, I've got an add-on that says uh, I don't know, for example here, Groove GFS Browser Helper. So what you can do is go into your Google 
and type in the Groove that information basically Groove GFS browser helper in this case browser helper and you'll get to what does Groove GFS browser help will do and so you'll have that information and the questions and answer to it so it's a great way to learn if an add-on is a good one or a bad one uh, is it cool or should I just you know uh, delete it so if the uh, information comes out negative that you need to delete it or whatever or disable it so what you can do uh, is simply click on that uh, object and you have an enable and disable button on it which is pretty cool uh, so that's a great way to uh, actually uh, remove uh, or uh, disable mostly some add-ons from your computer. Uh, some add-ons will also add features that let you uh, uninstall them. So it depends on the different add-ons on your computer. Um, basically by disabling add-ons you should see an improvement in speed of Internet Explorer but one of the biggest problems about that is that if you disable an add-on that is useful you won't be able to see what the content of some web pages want you to see. For example, in older versions of uh, Explorer, like Explorer 9 and Explorer 8, if you disabled Flash object, then you wouldn't have any Adobe Flash anymore, and then you wouldn't be able to view such um, information. So um, add-ons is where you see all of that, and of course if you disable something, you can enable it if you see that it doesn't work well um, and of course you can see toolbars and extension that's the first window you have the search providers meaning what is the default search when you are searching the web then you have accelerators which um, give you kind of a quick shortcut to different types of uh, websites or programs in your computer these can also be changed and uh, then you have the tracking protection uh, which makes you um, kind of do a little list where you don't want to be tracked if you uh, know that some websites track you more than others um, you might want to do yourself a little personalized list of uh, tracking uh, so that these websites don't access uh, your computer at any time so it's a cool little feature that you can check if your browser is slow. It's not the only cause of slow browsers, but it can be quite a uh, uh, quite a nuisance to have too many add-ons. And sometimes you even uninstall programs and they uh, still leave their add-ons there for you to use, which is quite uh, also something uh, of a nuisance in browsing. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when your videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. We'll try to answer any questions if possible. You can also answer questions from other users if you have the answer, the right answer. Um, that would help a lot. We can help each other in uh, our computer world. Lots of people have questions and we do need answers. We actually all have questions that need answers, even experts. So um, if you have the new Windows 8 machine, hey, take a look at our videos. You have lots of videos that are going to explain to you how Windows 8 works and how to do just about what you want. Thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.